Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limit Development and welcome to our Xcode Tutorials where in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use UI touches within the Objective-C language. Now in the simulator here I have an example of what we're going to be creating today. You see here we have our view and it's got our three labels from within it. Now these three labels are going to display the method of the touch that we are going to be interacting with the screen how many touches are on the screen at any given point and how many taps were made in a consecutive amount of time. So for example, if I click the screen and hold, you can see that touches has begun. I click it there. There's one touch on the screen and that equal to one tap. If I start to move, you'll see that it changes to touches moved, displaying that there. It's basically something happening. And if I let go, you can see it says touches end. There's no taps and there's only one touch on the screen. If I go to click multiple times, you can see that it goes touches begin and ended really quick and it starts to count up how many taps we have made. And if I stop and begin again, it will reset the counter and start counting all over again. I can also um, simulate having a secondary touch on the screen or a secondary finger pressing it by simply holding Alt down on the keypad. And if I click now, you can say it's now registers that there is two touches on the screen and we can again simulate it be moving and we can cl um, click and count up all the taps. So that's what we're going to be creating today. So already my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Objective-C Touches for the purpose of this tutorial. Now to get all set up, we're going to need to basically um, create our interface. So if we jump into our main dot storyboard and I'm going to change the screen size here to an iPhone screen. And what we're going to do now is add in the three labels that we need to basically display the information of the touch that is happening on the screen. So I'm going to drag and drop one in and space it over and center it. I'm simply copy and paste it so we've got three all together and placed all underneath each other. I'm then going to select them all and then go down to add in missing constraints. So no matter what the screen size we're working with, it's going to resize and display perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to simply change the text from within them so we know what's going on. So this will be our method of our touch. Our second one will simply be the touches and how many fingers are basically on the screen. And our final one will be our taps, showing us how many taps are basically being clicked on in a consecutive amount of time. Right then. So now we've done that. We can bring up our assistant, assistant editor as we need to now add in the outlets um, for these three labels so we can refer back to them and display the information in them which we need. So in the assistant editor, make sure we have the view controller.h selected. And now I'm going to create our parentheses to create a little outlet and action section. And I'm going to simply click, click um, left click. And then simply going to right click or control click and drag over and then simply give them a name. So I'll call this one the method label. We're going to call this one our touches label. And we're going to call this one our taps label. There we go, all added in. So now we've done that, we've added the outlets to our labels. We can close the assistant editor and go back to the standard editor. And now we can jump straight to our view controller.m where we can now begin to code. Okay then. So how are we going to get this to work is quite simple. We need to create um, void statements within the screen um, to basically interact with them. As we're not working with any particular action, it's just when any ever something happens. And this is quite simple to do. So what I'm going to do is space out this section here. And there's three void statements which we want to work with. One being touches begin if the touches were moved and when the touches have ended. We can add actions on to each of these methods. So we do dash bracket void. And what we do is type out touches began there. Create our parentheses on the end. I'm going to go on to create all of them. So we have them all in. This one will be our touches uh, moved. And then finally dash bracket void touches ended and create that with our parentheses there. So they're the three um, void statements we're going to be simply working with. Okay then, so let's start with our touches begin. So as soon as our finger touches the screen in any particular way, shape or form, 
we are going to simply have the information displayed within the label what's going on. So to do that, we need to create some NS integras to um, kind of get the information for us before we display it in the labels. So again, we type it out, NS integra, space, and a name for it, which this will be our touch count, space equals space. Let me put in our bracket for touches, space, count, and that bracket in a semicolon. So you're going to be getting an error there it's because we're not referring it to anything at the moment. So our touch count is going to equal the, basically the amount of touches on the screen. So again, repeat the process because this time we need to make one for our tap count. And this one we call it tap count. And this is simply going to equal, again, this time we do two brackets, our touches space any object. And do a bracket there tap count. So again, tap count is then going to equal the amount of taps being placed on the screen in a bracket in a semicolon. Now that we've got those two pieces of um, information being stored within um, our two uh, NS integrals there of our touch count and tap count, we can now use them to display within our labels. Now you may be thinking we have three labels and that is correct. The one information we don't have at the moment is for the method of the touch that was basically happening. And that's quite simple to get that information. So we type out the name of our label, method label dot text. And what we want to display in that is simply, we do at symbol two quotation marks, method, and we have touches began. And that will be a semicolon. And that will display the method of our touches within it which was very simple as it's only a bit of string and we've manually configured that. But for the other two, require the pieces of data um, from our NS Integra. So now we go on to our touches label dot text. And this, when it's simply equal a bracket of our NS string, then we do string with format. And in the format here, we do the at symbol and two quotation marks. And then we're gonna do a comma there for our touch um, count. So that's where it's gonna get data from in that bracket in a semicolon. Now display this touch count within our string here, we simply need to do a little kind of symbol. So what first thing we want to have displayed is touches and our colon there, and then basically the percentage sign uh, L and A U. Now this is kind of like the short code to display the integra in our string. So this little code here will be replaced with our touch count data, which will equal the amount of touches on the screen. Now, if we copy and paste that underneath, and uh, quickly change this one to our tap label, and then we we'll change this from touches to taps, and then change the tap count, um, touch count, sorry, to tap count. Now this one will display how many taps were being clicked on the screen at a consecutive time. And again, display it within our string and look quite good, to be honest. So if you go to build and run and quickly test this out. So as we only have configured the touches began, the moved and ended won't do anything at all. So if we go to click on the screen, we can see we have now touches begin, touches one and taps one. If I go to tap multiple times, you can see it starts to add up. Now when I finish tapping, nothing happens because we don't have anything it's kind of set up in here. Now, as it stands at the moment, if I simulated a second finger, nothing will kind of happen. It's because we haven't kind of um, told our interface that we want to have multi-touch enabled. So if you go to our main.storyboard and click on our view and select multi-touch, and this time if you go to build and run, when we have our multiple um, fingers on the screen now, we click, it will display two. So there we go, that works perfect. Right, and so if we jump back into our view controller.m, and to save a bit of time, we're going to simply copy and paste this whole line of code and paste it into both of them. Because all it's really needed is, is some fine tweaks to change how it's displayed. So in touches moved, we want to change our label here to simply say moved. And then touches began here to simply say ended. And that's all that is basically needed. So this time if we go to build and run. And then once it loads up, you see, once we start to click and we move, it will change it to method moved and then finally ended. Again, we can click and you can see the methods changing as we change the way we interact with the screen and the count continues to rise. 
And then finally we have our multiple touch and we move and it all changes there. So there you go. That's simply how you can use UI touch and perform actions depending on what touch or basically whatever's happening on the screen. It's a great way to kind of work with creating games where users have to use their finger to like move stuff on the screen or collect stuff or anything like that. You can even create fun little games out of how many taps were placed on the screen. Okay then, so I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. I want to thank all you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more up to date and in depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.